up Rajat here from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. Guys, today I'll show you one of the most exciting Mocha advanced tracking process which will help you to make such a cool roto in an easiest way. So what you guys are waiting for? Let's get started. So guys, finally we are in Mocha Pro and this is the most upgraded version and let's play the footage first. So guys, this is a footage when I track this system and Tony Stark is crossing over this system but still it's a stick over there. So how I am doing this? So guys, this is really simple and it's the most easiest way but the most trickiest part is called subtraction. So we'll do subtraction procedure for this kind of tracking. Okay, let's turn it on. Let's turn it off. So what I have to do, we have to make a rough roto shape or you can make a proper precise roto shape entire character. See, I, I did this before for you guys. See, I am doing a rough roto of this character. No need to roto this areas because when this character is passing over the system, you need only that much area. Rest of the part, just leave it or just drag it simply like whatever you want or you can just hide it. I am doing this precise. You can do it your own way. Okay, so just turn this off. Put like none. Let's turn this off and let's jump. So I am doing for you guys a new one. So first of all, what you have to do, select this X line. So just just like this, just a simple track. I'm just showing you what happened if you don't do that. Just press play button. Now see, it's play here and it's tracking right now. Okay, so when the character is come in front of the system, I'm pretty sure this track will be jerk or it will go somewhere in this footage. So let's see this. Okay, so I'm just making a pause over there because I want to show what happened when the character is moving. You guys can't see when the tracking is happening. Now see, when I go back, see, the track is sliding, right? So this is the basic concern that why we are doing the subtraction policy. Now guys, let's delete this layer, right click and uh, delete. And let's go to first frame or you can use only this much area because we need only this much to this much, okay. So now what you have to do, you have to just make a simple rough noto node, roto node of this character like this and just make it like a frame by frame, just go few frames and then just adjust the shapes. Don't make two outside of this edge, otherwise then the same thing happened. Just make as much as you uh, make it precise like this and uh, see, it's, it's very easy actually. No need to do a proper roto, but you is, you can get a proper output of this tracking data. So when it will complete, I'll show you how it will look like. It will completely look like this. See, I have this much keyframes added. I'm adding few frames gap. Then I did this kind of keyframe. So this is done. Now you can use your first frame or any kind of frame range. Then just make sure the shape you are taking for the exact tracking object, it should be little more uh, dif uh, different than others. So first of all, if you make only this four points, the track will be distorted. Whatever you are doing subtraction or any other process because Mocha can track the texture. So this texture is not moving. This screen texture is not moving. It will move, then it will not work. So what do you have to do? You just nothing. You just make some cool inside shapes on this particular shape only. Then just make it like this and you can adjust all the shapes. And then make sure we have to turn off this share option because when it will on, the track can be jerked in some area. Now this motion is very less, so we will turn on this small motion option and make sure this minimum pixel use is like 100%. So I'm turning on and it's like 100%. So now everything is done. Now the main basic concern, this is our system layer and this is our subtraction layer. So always make sure this system layer should be under this subtraction layer. So it means this layer is subtracted on this layer. So when, whatever we're doing, this character's layer is always top of any other layers. So this is my system layer and this is my track or rotoed character layer. So I'm just delete this because I already done this before. I'm just showing you when I turn it on, I'm just delete all these shapes. So now what happened, see this shape, just play this this is voila this is done now 
how you can understand that your track is done properly or not for this you can make a form insert click logo so just turn on a logo then turn off your shapes now you can see the logo is stick on its own space now you can now i know this uh, track maybe some areas it's distorted but it's not a matter when you go to any compositing software you can manually adjust it because you can you already get your proper translation scale rotation and all okay so this is good right now you can make turn on this grid option and you can see this characters is moving the, on this grid so this layer is selected that's where this grid is coming just turn it off and turn on select this and turn this grid on now see this grid is stick on his own space so it means it's already got proper output and by using this way you can roto anything if you want now you want a system roto you can take this kind of tracking method and then go to the export tracking data so now select this and you you can use this wrap mockup importer something like that after effects corner pin and then just copy the clipboard or you can save it and open your silhouette or any other uh, tracking or compositing software and import your mocha whatever you are using so this is it guys i hope you really enjoyed this tutorial and if yes then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and if you're new in this channel then obviously you have to subscribe and you have to press that bell icon for the further notification and i will see you in my next tutorial till then have fun stay healthy bye bye